developing right now. A Muslim-owned grocery store in the metro is trying to figure out who tagged the building with anti-Islam graffiti. But as News 9's Jesse Mitchell found out, it's having an unexpected impact. It's actually bringing together people from different religions. Yeah, the owner of the OK Halal grocery store tells me he has no idea why someone would target his business. It's never happened before. This week, the building was hit twice. But now local Muslims are using the experience to help spread positivity. Well, hate's always going to be there, but we're, we're fighting it with love. It's business as usual at the OK Halal grocery store this weekend, despite the knowledge that someone wants to use the building as an anti-Islamic billboard. The owner arrived Friday to find this bright orange spray paint condemning ISIS while calling out the Council on American Islamic Relations and specific members of the nearby mosque. From what we see, it's somebody who knows our community, who knows us, who knows me. Harris Ali believes the vandal chose the store because the mosque has security cameras cameras to patrol its perimeter. OK Halal only has cameras on the inside. The graffiti was short-lived, though. Friday afternoon, members from the mosque, as well as local Christian and Jewish worship centers, chipped in to apply a fresh coat of paint. It shows us that there are people out there, you know, with, with good hearts, and they really want to help out. It could be anything, but... Today, we alerted the store to another troubling tag on a different side of the building. This time, a hangman with spaces for a five-letter word. Ali encourages the culprit to stop hiding behind a spray can. If you have preconceived notions about anyone or anything or any group, then you already set your mind. But if you really want to know what Islam is really about, you know, we're right here. You know, come to the mosque, talk to us. The store's owner is now considering installing cameras and better lighting around the outside of the building. If you have any information about this vandalism, call Oklahoma City Police. Jesse Mitchell, News 9.